Okay, nice loan adjustment here. All we're going to do is set up the usual T account. So that's going to be our loan amount. Loans increase on the credit side, decrease on the debit side. Balance on the 1st of March 2016, that's going to be our opening balance. That's going to be 376000. Our installments, including interest, is going to be 90,000. So 92,000, Yammer. On the debit side, interest capitalized is 48,000. That is going to increase our loan account. It's capitalized. Capitalized, it's added to the loan account. It's going to be 48,000. And our balance on the 28th of Feb, uh, that is what we want to ultimately calculate, right? Interest has not been entered in the book, so we're factoring it in. And 50,000 of the loan balance will be settled in the next financial year. In other words, that 50,000, that represents the current portion of the loan. And all we're going to do is chuck in 50,000 here. Let's just total everything up. We total the bigger side. So 376,000 plus 48,000. And that is equal to 3,812,000. So that's 3,812,000. Uh, please forgive me. I've had a complete Jacob Zuma moment there. I read that as 3 million. Sorry. Yammer. It's 424,000. Sorry. I just I put it. I, was, I did something very silly on my calculator. It happens to the best of us. Uh, and there's 424,000 here on this side. Yeah, for your balancing figure, I'm going to put that in green. Uh, it's just going to be 282,000. Now, this 282,000, we're just going to plug that straight into our loan total in our balance sheet. That is it. And the interest capitalized, in other words, our interest expense, that's 40, that 48,000, that's going to go straight into our income statement under interest expense, one of the last few line items. And that's it. Look, I know a lot of your teachers are like, oh, show the loan calculation in a line, in a line item. I always recommend doing it in a ledger account. Um, so what we've just done here, that does qualify as a calculation.